Hi, I'm Randy Taylor. I'm the CEO of Stock Photo Finder and the co-creator of the C Registry website. We've created a tool that will help your stock photo agency uh, mitigate risk against all of the unauthorized uses and uncredited works that are out there. In essence, the basis of the orphan works dilemma that, that we're presented with all of us. Uh, let me take a moment and uh, show you how it works. I'm going to start off over here with a, a brief overcap of the situation as it is today. There are a ton of images that are being used on the internet. Over a billion images are uploaded from four websites alone. This is presenting a major inflow of content and a major opportunity for copying of content. In fact, some indications are that as much as 10% of the content that's at all of these sites is actually a duplication of the exact same images. In other words, they're already, by default, copyright infringements. So, the winds of change are coming. There's a big push for Orphan Works uh, in multiple countries. It hasn't yet passed in the United States, but there's no doubt that there are major forces behind this, and uh, there's a good likelihood that Orphan Works in some form is going to come to fruition uh, in the entire world. So, the solution, we believe, is what we've created here at uh, C Registry. And in essence, we have uh, figured out how to link all of the uncredited and unauthorized images that are out there on the internet uh, to a database. So as long as the images are claimed in the C Registry database, they can be linked to from all of these images that are floating around on the web, whether or not uh, the uh, rights holder to those images knows that they exist or not. Now, one of the fringe benefits of this is because we're linking up all of the images, it works in reverse. So we can actually show you a list of all of the websites that also are uh, using your images online. We mitigate uh, the infringement risk for stock photo agencies and it's very easy to participate. Uh, you register at C Registry, uh, you export your data, and uh, if you're already in Stock Photo Finder, we're going to be incorporating all of those images into C Registry as well. Uh, but uh, if you're not already in Stock Photo Finder, you can actually kill two birds with one stone and, and, and come in uh, simultaneously to both uh, services. So now, let's go over and take a look at uh, the website itself. Uh, starting at the home page, the first thing you're going to want to do is to register at the site. And you do that simply by clicking the, uh, the register link here. Uh, and you'll go in and fill out the various information. Uh, you're interested in having sales leads come to you, so of course you're going to say yes, yes, and yes to these uh, ways of displaying your contact information, and uh, you would list yourself uh, uh, as a uh, photo agency. The next thing you're going to want to do is to grab the, uh, the little icon out of our C-Tools area. Now, this is the most common way to use the site. Uh, it's not the bulk way, but it's the easy way. Uh, grab and drag it up into your browser. And this is the way somebody who's looking for the rights holder or the agent uh, uh, would do it. They simply grab it on a Mac, drag it into the browser, bookmarks, uh, let it go, or right-click and save to bookmarks. And what will happen is it will be saved up there as a link that we then can use for uh, finding images and, and uh, identifying the owners. So I'm gonna, now going to go to a real-world example. Uh, here's a website that has uh, this image of Marilyn Monroe uh, from the Milton Green Estate. And uh, you'll see that uh, uh, this uh, has uh, advertising here on the site. Uh, up at the top, uh, there's advertising. And uh, down at the bottom here, you've got some, uh, some Google ads. Uh, this particular image, uh, they've been kind enough to tell us, has been online since uh, 2007. So now, that bookmark that we have up here, when I click this, it triggers the script on our servers and it's going to grab everything on the page. Now, it also happens to work for video and music and illustrations and things of that nature, but we're, for this conversation, interested in the photographs. Uh, this one happens to have come in. There it is right there. And it already has been claimed in the database, so immediately the ownership uh, information displays. Now, going into the detail screen, you will see uh, a lot of information that uh, is accessible by the user who is looking for the rice holder. And the first thing I want to show you is the e-commerce link, which is right here. Now, for photo agencies, we're going to do this all by import. But every image can be linked on a per-image basis to the e-commerce licensing preview process uh, for that particular image. Uh, this is actually quite an interesting sales tool or sales lead generator. Now, if I go over here and I click on uh, license information, uh, in this particular case, it's simply going to go to the, uh, the home page of the, uh, the Milton Green Estate which is uh, legendslicensing.com, 
Uh, but normally this would actually link directly to uh, the image itself. And as you can see, this is the, uh, the Maryland shot uh, that is coming up uh, from their homepage, uh, inviting you to uh, enter the site. So now let's go back and uh, take a look at some other functions. Uh, if you are a U.S. agency, you can put in the U.S. copyright uh, number here. Now, we're not the United States Copyright Office, but we link to their online process. So here, if that uh, U.S. copyright registration number is entered, you can also go back and view the copyright information from the United States Copyright Office. And this is an interesting feature because now suddenly you have uh, the actual visual image that is associated with the text description uh, over at the Copyright Office, which is a nice convenience. Uh, there's a number of functions uh, that are here, uh, but I just want to call attention to one last one, and that is this uh, linking of the history of where this image is being used. So you notice the first one here is the site that it's being used on. Let's flip up to another one here. The blue one is the site that it's being used on, and the second one is where the image is being stored. So for example, if, uh, if this would be uh, MySpace, approximately 65% of the images on MySpace are actually stored uh, in PhotoBucket. Uh, and it will give you the date range uh, of when those are being stored at that facility, which you can then update and ping simply by clicking on, on this button right here. Now, there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that's our image recognition technology. So when somebody finds an image somewhere on the website, uh, let's say that it hasn't yet been claimed inside uh, our C registry database, we also have the capacity to present to them similar images, uh, which often are the same image, but maybe they've been cropped or resized or colorized or something like that. So I just wanted to run through real quick and show you a couple examples of that. Uh, our process also works for illustrations, and basically here are some samples of some illustrations that have uh, been found at various websites and uh, basically have been colorized and, and adapted. Uh, the same kind of a thing is true in sequence, like a motor drive sequence. So in this sample here, we've got uh, uh, basically the same image that's slightly altered because the motor drive is uh, running on an action, action sequence here. And of course, in some cases, uh, uh, there are images all over the web uh, that are basically the exact same image. Some uh, famous iconic images, uh, here is an example of one. Uh, now, each one of these is at a different website, and so every one of these potentially could be a separate infringement. And in this particular case, of course, there are hundreds of them. That is basically it, and uh, let me come on back here and uh, swing around. Uh, I hope you like what we've presented to you. Uh, uh, it's very easy to participate. We would love to have all stock photo agencies participate, uh, regardless of country. Uh, this process is language neutral. It doesn't matter what language the websites are in. Uh, it's all about the image and the file. So, come contact us, and thank you very much.